Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Commodity Futures Report for Monday 13th of December. So with iron ore here, um, yeah, I'm a bit concerned about the volume coming into play, uh, not coming into play here for all of this. A bit like this sort of area here really where there was like just no volume uh, in here. So we really need to be careful about this, um, you know, because I'm sort of calling the low in here as the A wave, the B wave and the C wave. We may end up with a bigger wave four in here. So that means that, um, well, from this top really, down to the low here would leave the 38.2% retracement level back to that point. So that's, uh, and, and I don't even know if we'll get to that point. I know that the, I expected the market to dawdle along at the 650 here um, in that it needs to, you know, find it as support here. And it's doing all the right things. Um, it's all a bit sort of scrunched up, but it's not sitting on there as support yet. It's being sold off, but it keeps edging higher, which is fantastic. Um, <clears throat> but this volume is a bit of a concern. But in the meantime, um, we're seeing BHP and so on, uh, you know, also climb on their levels of support as well. <clears throat> so it's looking, everything's looking okay. It's just that the volume's really low here. So it does wave a big flag in the air, in the air and we do need to be uh, mindful and careful of uh, how we um, <clears throat> progress forward. But I'm just going to just be patient <clears throat> and see if we can get support on the 650 in due course. Over to the gold market, US spot gold. So I won't go into a big rave here. We know where um, that we're in this triangle pattern. We're looking for, well, wave D here. I suppose we should just go back a uh, couple of, just one step or two, just for folks that are not tuned in. So we're looking for wave three over here with an A, B, C, D and E. So an Elliott wave triangle with each leg having three waves in it. So from D down to E here, we're looking for an A and a B and a C. So we'd call the low of wave uh, A in and we're just looking for wave B to climb. So that's where we were on the four hour chart, I think. <clears throat> I don't need to go into the intraday here. We're looking from the low here as one, two, three, four, five for the A wave. We're looking for a B wave to pull back into the uh, 1772 area and then uh, then move up in five waves. So we're kind of on, we're, well, not kind of, we're on track here. <clears throat> and uh, we do need to push up. Will we push up uh, that high? I, I don't know. Um, we could label that wave one and two. <clears throat> we can label this wave three and four across here that will be it'll be as it will just stick there for a while and and then maybe a push up here so it may only come up sort of you know up into this level here so just be a bit careful about that um, if you're going long <clears throat> now because we've got five waves here that means that after correction we'll get another five over here for that so that's where we'll be heading five waves down here that i think we should take 1700 as a as a sort of uh, floor for this, but if we get lucky, maybe 1720, 1730, uh, maybe even 1750, uh, you know, as a shorter term uh, support line coming through here based on, on this here. But uh, yeah, look, that's where we are in the meantime. And yeah, there's nothing really to do or add at this particular point in time. We're just looking for an impulse wave for wave C and then another five down. How dramatic that will be, uh, not too sure. <clears throat> it could be short, it could be longer than we expected. Um, so if you're going to take any action, this is the area that you need to take any action from, you know, uh, I'd say 1810 to 1830 in that space. So uh, silver, let's just check on silver. We were going to adjust the account and we probably will now. So I have already. So just in the bigger picture here, the A wave here and A and a B and one and two and three and four and five coming down here. We haven't taken out the low here. And I said that if we do take out the low, then we'll draw it out like this. But I just thought that I would draw it out like this anyway. So um, yeah, a bounce off here very shortly um, as a move up. 
I don't think it's going to go very far and then another move down, which could bring it into the 2000 area here as well. So I think that would be a good starting point. So anything better than that would be nice, but uh, we should bring it into that point. Alrighty, um, so that's really the gold and silver. Crude is, is uh, heading higher, but it, we believe that it's a corrective rally. So on the crude chart here, now from the top here, this I've got it counted as an ABC, but it can be counted as five waves down very easily as well. OK, but I won't go into that at the moment. What I'm just focused on is uh, an A wave here, B wave here and then a C wave up here with one and two and three and four and five. Very much like stock, actually. Stocks are the same. European indices are the same as well for that. So, um, yeah, that's where we are for this on the I'll just cut straight through to the tick chart because I've been doing a little bit of work on that. <clears throat> so from the low here um, I was looking at this here it does appear that it's a bit tricky to get five waves for the A wave here on this it's a, more like an A and a B and a C that kind of cements the whole move in here as being corrective um, so that's what we need to be careful about but uh, in the short term we're just looking for five waves up into our box up here can lift this up here a bit further just out of the way as well for the time being but yeah we're looking for uh wave three and four <clears throat> wave three normally occurs if wave one hasn't taken us to the a previous top then it's normally wave three that will play out across this level here so we're just looking for uh three four and five up into the 7500 area <clears throat> And then once we get that, we'll either, you know, continue all the way down. But if we if I can figure out that there's some sort of corrective pattern here, you know, then we can look on the bullish side. But otherwise, we'll need to look on the bearish side. But we'll look at both counts as we go. But that's where we are for crude and copper is next. So we've been working with US high grade copper. So... <clears throat> And with copper here, very much like I, I just really can, we just need to consider this tuning into. Obviously, when when they're going, when a market's going sideways, it's kind of just either rebalancing the previous trend or waiting for something to go on. Um, but uh, in terms of waiting for something to sort of happen, either orders to buy copper or a lower U.S. dollar <clears throat> um, for for this to, uh, to 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 move up and. I, I wonder about the US dollar. Um, we'll talk about that when we when we get there. But um, yeah, so with this, we were looking for a triangle pattern, wave three with an A, B, C, D and E here. So this may be the A, the B and the C wave coming up here for this. I don't know. I really don't know how far it's going to go. And uh, this, <clears throat> as I said before, this is going to get messy in here. And <clears throat> it is messy, but for some some strange reason we've navigated it quite well um but yeah there's just more of it and, and I, as i mentioned I, I don't think it's really going to be ready until um after christmas um we want to see the us dollar it doesn't need to top out but uh we need it you know we, we need to see uh, some weakness in, well the weakness in the us dollar will be uh helpful um okay um natural gas we're looking for natural gas to have a uh, a way for rally but it's certainly in a downtrend as we talked about uh last week uh so not a lot to uh this is the open here so we're looking for wave four rally and then wave five down it's possible that it's a wave c here <clears throat> and the low is in place but i would need to see an impulse wave here and i don't really have enough info for that because from here we could label as an a wave a b wave and one and two and three and four and extension in the fifth wave which is quite common in commodities so it could be wave c and we could have a low here but um yeah, we need to see how far this can rally back up. I don't particularly like that spike there either, but all said and done, this wave four can rally back to this area through here. So we can move that up to there, remove that and remove that. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. I think this is the 61.8% of the previous drop or something or other. 
Yep, has to be. Um, so yeah, it looks like it's going to kind of rally and then and then drop a little bit further in all of that. And uh, what's next? Uh, nickel. Um, let me see. Dollar index. Nickel. Okay, so where are we? I need the other charting program. So here and commodities in my thing here. Nickel. <coughs> So, yeah, not a lot to be sort of gleaned from from this so far. But the bottom line here is that uh, we're working across the medium level here, 1500. Medium levels are always halfway between two major levels, so 1000 and 2000. It carries a lot of weight and normally we'd see a correction here. We'd normally see the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level and then a corrective move here. The move up here so far appears to be in three waves as a corrective move and it's come back down and it's overlapped. It be one and two and one and two i'm not ruling that out and if that happens then we need to be long above wave b there but otherwise we've just been waiting for it to bounce along the 1500 here and eventually you know drop below uh here and move down a bit lower and then we would be interested in it down here so we'll either go along here or we'll end up buying it back down here somewhere once we've got confirmation on that so not a lot to be uh gleaned from this uh, situation and the US dollar index hasn't really um, moved much. So I'll just move that out the way a little bit. So we're looking at this being a wave four pulling back and we still need wave five to move up here of wave three. And then we still need wave four and wave five here. But I was thinking about the US dollar. I mean, obviously, um, <clears throat> you know, trade, uh, the euro dollar the trade or the trade from outside the us is not there but what what occurred to me um a little while ago was um the us dollar and bitcoin because when you think about it i need to think about this further and probably get some expert opinion about it but <clears throat> with the bitcoin market you've got um you've got the you've got uh you've got tether you've got the us dollar in tether <clears throat> so for every um for every uh, tether, there's a it's backed by one US dollar, one USD. So they're holding USDs. I don't know if they're holding them, uh, you know, maybe in I don't know in some other form in the bond market or something. But they would have to have you. They would have to have matching US dollar. <coughs> so there's something like in the overnight, so or in that tether market there there's something like three trillion us dollars floating around so i'm wondering if if uh you know these these uh exchanges or <clears throat> the people that specialize in um in the in in tether and any you know any any other form of uh security uh you know in that bitcoin space they they want us dollars don't they you know they got to they got to they got to have that tether backed by a US dollar so i'm thinking that and because i think it's something like 3 trillion dollars or something that's stashed in there so um uh yeah i'm wondering if that's where the demand is coming from but you know it's not my not my field and uh, i don't really have any answers it was just a thought that i thought well you know why is the US dollar going up you know it's uh um, you know they're printing, uh, you know they're printing a lot, uh, so it should be going the other way, but it's not, and it's rising. So I'm wondering if it's got to do with, uh, yeah, the US USD tether and the demand for, you know, Bitcoin, uh, and also that's demanding the US dollar as well. Anyway, I'll I'm going to muck around with that further, investigate it, research it. Um, alrighty, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.